All right, guys, it is Statsational here for the Sharp app. Going to go over some of the best props I see today. Not only the ones I like, but what the Proptimizer tool here at the Sharp app likes as well. And that's probably even more important. The Proptimizer tool crushes it for prize picks and against the sports book when you are looking to play some bets, some prop bets. And let's face it, the prop bets are, have become probably the most played pro, or the most played bets out there, even more so than the sides, the money lines, the totals, things like that. So let's jump into it. Guys, if you are new, give us a like, give us a subscribe to this video. And down below, there's going to be some links to some other articles and videos I've, I've uh, written and filmed for you guys so that you can understand exactly how to crush it on prize picks and props in general. And uh, you'll become more qualified and a better, smarter, sharper, better. All right. Let me talk about the article that I did here today. I do a top props article. Let's click over to it. I do MLB K props on a daily basis, assuming I like a play. Some days I don't like a play. I don't post anything. Yesterday was one of those days. Matter of fact, I think I had two days in a row with no plays. It's going to happen. I'm not trying to just give you guys picks just to give you picks. I'm trying to win. That's why we're up 12.6 units or 12.7 units on the season right now on the K props. That's why the NBA props absolutely crushed up about 50 units on the season uh, last year. So when we look at what I like here today, Caprilin, Oakland, I've got him projected 4.57 uh, Ks. The prop is three and a half. Over minus 126 at FanDuel, I would take this up to minus 135. 11.2% is the edge that uh, we're getting here based on my projection. And again, guys, key to have multiple sports books because if you get stuck with a book that is that has this at minus like 142, minus 145, which some books are at right now, I don't like that play. And some of you are going to say, well, what's the difference? So who cares? You like it. 4.57 projected. You think it's going to go over. I'll pay, you know, I'll, I'll pay whatever it is because you like this to go over. I like it for the value. Every bet that I make is based on value, not necessarily because I understand or know exactly what's going to happen in the game. I don't, you don't, nobody does. So anyone who makes bets because they have a feel or they like this player to go over without any consideration on how much you're paying, then it makes no sense. It's like liking a house and saying, well, I'll pay whatever they want, if not more, just because I like that house. Well, the house at some point is worth a certain amount of money. There's comps to it. There's a value to that house. So you're willing to pay what the fair price is, if not something below for that house, right? You're not going to just pay just because you like a house that's worth $400,000. You're not going to pay $600,000 because you like it. Same thing here, all right? So we're not going to overpay just because we like the bet or just because we like the 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 number higher or lower than where the market is at. Now, when we look at the prize picks prop optimizer, okay? Now, that was a bet against the sports book. We'd see that Caprilin actually comes up as the third best choice on the prize picks, but the opposite way to the under. But it's under four, not three and a half. Remember, the prize picks or the top prop play was against the market at three and a half. And as you can see, when we open this up, the market is all at three and a half, but juiced to the over, right? So that's why we're getting a sports book projection of 3.9 because the juice is to the over. When we get an under of plus 103, that's the consensus. So under three and a half is less likely to happen because the sports books are projecting it at 3.9. That's why they're juicing it to the over and you're getting plus juice on the under. 3.7, that's where our top prop model, the AI model, likes this. So the model is way below where I'm at on this market. Okay, so the, if you are strictly going by this, the under seems to be the play. Now, because it's on an integer, we've talked about this many times, down below, guys, I'll bring it up again, the Discord. But if you haven't gotten our Discord, head in there. You go, It's this is absolutely free. Prize pick discussions, hit the hit the pinned articles, right? And I've got these charts here that are going to tell you, again, we've got four, right? Four is the, is, the, uh, is the prop that we're looking to beat. You need to hit 59.3% for a two power and then so on down the line. So we're looking at these five flexes and, and six flexes uh, because you're, you don't need to hit them as at high a rate. So if we've got 56.33%, that fits fine for the six flex and the five flex, but we want to avoid it here on the two through fours. 
But because I like this to the over, I would actually play this one. Actually, I would not play this to the over because it's now at four. Okay, so I wouldn't touch this on prize picks, and I wouldn't touch it to the under either. But to play this against the sports books, I love it because, again, I'm trusting my projections. So I love this at the three and a half. I'll lay the minus 126 over at FanDuel. Would not touch the under here at prize picks. So I'm going to avoid that. Let's just look at the top one for today, and it's Kyle Freeland over uh, against prize picks. Over three, again, we can refer back to the chart. And sorry, guys, I didn't bring it up here. Um, we could go back to the chart here for Discord. First, let me show you the, the Freeland market. We'll go back to the chart on Discord. And the threes, you can see you need to eat, hit at an even higher rate because of the likelihood of a push. So we need to be, you know, we'd like to be closer to 57% to play a five uh, flex, 56% to be a six flex, okay? So we go back to it. We're at 58, and it, we're almost at 59%. So I'm okay here with the Freeland bet, but you have to be careful on these in Colorado because, of course, in Colorado, we expect pitchers not to go as deep. Now, our top props are way below this. So this is conflicting. I tend to like to look for the ones where the top props AI model agrees with where the sports book is at. And when they're both aligned, so if this was like 3.8 as opposed to 2.8, I'd be all over this play. So for me, I'm going to hold off on the Freeland over here and uh, let it go. Right. So now I noticed that this wanted to refresh. So let's just see. So Caprilin looks like he moved up a little bit. The market has changed. So it went from plus 103 to plus 102. That changes the projection a little bit to 3.88. Not a huge difference. All right. Let's just take a look quick at the top props prop optimizer. See if anything jumps out at us for top props. And now this is going to be against the sports book today. So let's look at what the top plays are against the sports book over on the prop optimizer. Now, what this is going to do is take the AI model and it's going to take the projections that we have in the AI model, compare it to the market and see what kind of an edge we have. Now, you can see France here, total outs recorded. The AI model likes it at 13.75. The market's at heavily juiced to the under over on uh, Caesars and BetMGM, under 17.5, minus 155. A lot of juice here, but you can see we are way below that. We're almost four, right? So you're at 3.75 outs lower in the market so i would want to look at this one why are we so far off why is the ai model so far off here i'm going to want to look at my own projections maybe maybe look at some other projections and see are other people in a line with this or is this an outlier but as it stands now this is the best play of the day according to our ai model you can see byron buxton here total rbis again when we're getting this plus money we don't expect necessarily to hit the bet right it's heavily juiced to the under on the RBIs, we had one yesterday at plus 194, 195, whatever it was. Um, and I'm forgetting the play. It was whole, uh, uh, Solaire. Did not get the RBI, but you're getting it at plus 195. Now, guys, when I play these, I always play to win one unit. So if I'm playing, let's say, a plus 200 bet, I'm playing that for half a unit to win one unit, right? Because go, I've got, if you go into the, uh, the Sharp app, there's something called the Sharp Academy. Check out the Sharp Academy videos. Check out the bankroll management. I go into detail on how you should be making these bets, and it's going to help you with your bankroll management and your risk management. But we can see Buxton, plus 160. I love plus money bets. The projection is for 0.844 total RBIs, so we've got an 18.56% chance or edge, at least, on this bet. We're looking for edges. We're not trying to figure out what's going to win, what's not going to win. We just want to win at a higher rate than the market thinks that bet is going to win. So take a look at the tools for today. This is, of course, I'm going to update it here quick. Nothing at the top changed. But these are the tools that we use on a daily basis to crush it against the sports book and prize picks. If you guys have any questions, by all means, head over into the Discord. I've got the links down below. And check out the Discord Hit me up, Statsational, in the Discord. Download the Sharp app. Use these tools. You won't be disappointed. Good luck, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow.